Okay, thanks for joining me again. Uh, today I'm going to be sharing with you my final assessment of my Solomon uh, X Ultra 3 Gore Tex mid hiking boots. Um, but first, I want to say a quick thanks to one of my viewers, uh, Sister Rev, for the encouragement uh, to keep on doing these videos and for the great advice to start doing them again in uh, more natural settings. So, I'm going to come back out with some more of these videos for you guys, and uh, it's going to be in nicer settings. So, thanks for that advice. I appreciate it. Um, anyway, so, if you, so I have had these uh, Salmon boots for uh, a little bit over a year now, uh, and uh, they've been amazing boots for the most part. Uh, I really love them. I've done a couple other reviews. Uh, and at some point I'll try to link, when I get around to editing this, I'll link those uh, to this video at the end. So you can check those out if you like. Um, and so basically, uh, the main things I want to tell you is basic, is essentially what um, are the things that I've learned from these boots about um, design and uh, functionality. And what are the things that I would like to change about them to make them even better. So I'll start by saying I really love these boots. Um, they're what I would consider to be the best hiking boots I've ever owned and used. Um, they've been incredibly functional. And um, some of the things that I've, I, like I said, I'll direct you to one of my earlier videos where I talk about a lot of these things. Um, but I'm just going to touch on a few of these points. Some of the things I really love about these boots is it's got the really good flexibility. Uh, it feels like a more of a trail running shoe than it does a clunky hiking boot. It's, uh, you know, it's got a pretty flexible sole, which I personally like. I don't really like super stiff soles. I like to be able to feel the ground, even through a big, thick sole like this. I can still, I still have some, what they call proprioception, um, feeling of ground contact in this case, um, between the feet and the ground. Um, I like that it's got a really nice bumper toe guard in the front. Um, the soles on these, uh, as you can see, this one is, is pretty worn down. They didn't last quite as long as I would have liked for them to, but I was using them all, virtually every day for a year um, on trails. Uh, so they are Gore-Tex. Uh, the Gore-Tex has failed a little bit, which is, I guess, to be expected at some point, you know, um, over time. Um, so it does leak water now. But actually, one more thing I want to say about these soles. So um, I... I'm very happy with the functionality and the performance of these soles. The one thing that I would like to see different on a, if they are willing to do this, is a uh, zero drop sole. Because I really, you know, I'm not into the whole heel thing. I think that's an outdated um, way of, uh, of using, of making footwear. I think it's a lot better to have more of a natural, uh, flat, um, fully Achilles extended uh, stance when wearing shoes. Like we would when we're barefoot, basically. Okay, so um, here's a couple of the failure points I want to talk about with these boots. Um, as you can see uh, in this one on my right foot, look how gouged that is. So this mesh, uh, this is made of some kind of a you know nylon or um, uh, you know polyester or something uh, synthetic mesh uh, for the exterior shell over here. Uh, and I think that that would be a lot better if it was a different material. Probably leather. I know that they're, I guess they were trying to avoid using leather on these boots, um, but I think that, you know, get, having tears like this, I mean, maybe it's possible for it to happen on leather as well, but I just think it would have lasted longer if it was a leather boot instead of, um, you know, the synthetic fabric. The rest of this, though, I really like, you know, this is some kind of like a rubberized, um, rubberized strapping, you know, on the outside of the shoe. Uh, I think that gives really good rock protection. Um, I've been very happy with that. As you can see, it's, you know, hasn't really gotten any rock, major rock gouges. Um, here's another thing. Uh, it would have been better if I was able to have the other boot here with me. Um, so I could show you how it was on that side. But on these boots, I, on this, on this right one, I blew out one of these uh, lace uh, things. What would they call it? An eyelet. It's like a fabric eyelet. And um, I don't think... So basically on the other boot, I blew out three of them, the top three. And not all at once, but it was over time. They just wore out. In part, I think I was tightening my boots a little bit too tight. Um, and that, that friction, I think, 
burn through those. But then again, I really think that using that fabric, that ni that whatever this nylon type of fabric is, this webbing for these uh, eyelets, I don't think that's ideal. Um, it you know it's an obvious weak point, and it is you know it's something that like you know it's going to break at some point. But um, that brings me to another topic that I made another video about where I was talking about a solution to um, having your toes getting crammed is to remove the, la the that top lacing and then just start lacing from the second you know set of eyelets on up. Um, and what I realized is maybe it was after the break-in period that they, um, that they stretched out a bit and got a little wider in the fabric. But um, I was, you know, I was having the issue of getting cr my toes getting crushed when I was tightening them down. I think part of it was that like I was just tightening them too tight. Um, when I, you know, once they were broken in a little bit more and uh, I started, and I started blowing out those uh, other laces, I started lacing them back to the end again. And um, they've been fine, actually. I don't feel like my toes have been getting crushed um, since then. Um, and yeah, so the last thing I want to mention is uh, I'm really into wearing gaiters. I, I usually wear, let's see if I can show you that. I usually wear these REI um, activator running gaiters. And, um, and I modified these ones to, uh, to incorporate a uh, gator trap. And what that is, is basically I put the back, I put a piece of Velcro, I glued it onto the back of these shoes. It's a hook and loop setup. And the back of the, this gator has also a, a hook and loop setup, Velcro setup basically. And it goes in there and it hooks on, and, you know, it closes in there and holds it tight. And then you, it's got the hook in the front of the gator that just hooks onto any of these laces. Um, and that, um, that's that been working really well. Obviously, it's not my design. I got that from uh, the brand Ultra that you saw me wearing a second ago. Um, and I basically just copied it and integrated it into these boots and gaiters. Um, anyway, so uh, that is pretty much everything I wanted to say about these boots. Um, they were really great boots. They didn't last me as long as I wanted them to, but uh, overall I've been very happy with them and it's uh, you know really, really good design. Um, and uh, I'll keep you posted on uh, what I'm replacing them with. So anyway, if you have any questions or anything, just feel free to leave me a comment and uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.